I can't get away from that. As we were sharing this morning, the presence of God. Thanks, Rudy. That was beautiful, that violin. And I'll take my black case over there. Please. Thank you, dear brethren, for helping us out with that. You know, I just thank you being a gentleman. There are two there. That's good. <laughs> the um, treasured work of the Holy Spirit is so, so important. Is, is Brother Kim Bombay here today? He is. Oh, well, we better do that duet, we promise. Better come up here. I didn't see him, but I thought that was him. He is the hymnologist, prophet, teacher, preacher from Canada. You look lovely today. <laughs> oh, she does. This song, uh, Brother Ken said, if you'll sing, Jesus is precious. There is a return to the simplicity and beauty and dignity of worship. I'm going to say it again. There is a returning to the beauty and the dignity of spiritual worship. It has been greatly lost in the church. We captured some of it this morning the majestic presence of the Lord. When I said angels are here, I know it. I just know it. I've never seen an angel in my life. But my brother here, since his stroke, he saw angels. He saw one standing right behind me as I was ministering. It's happened many times. I just know when they're there. They're sent to minister unto us who are the heirs of salvation. And when that glory shows up, I, something happens. I cannot describe it. It just happens. When I get broken in my spirit, the angels show up, the word of God comes forth, and I just am so appreciative, Pastor, that there is a place in this city that allows for the moving of the Holy Spirit. That's why we're glad to be able to come here and find a place where you can enjoy the presence of God. So many of the services are regimented now, they're so highly programmed that when the Holy Spirit would try to move, He's not allowed, He's grieved, He goes home brokenhearted. Goes back to the throne and says, I tried, but it didn't happen. But I'm finding a place, and there are places, and I meant that sincerely. As I sat that platform, the Lord said, I'm sending forth my angels. And they've got the ink horn in their hand, and they're marking the churches that will allow my Holy Spirit to work. Not many places shall there be. But there will be places where the anointing of God will be allowed to rest upon the place and mighty work shall be done. I am so appreciative that this place knows the anointing. But there shall yet come a greater intensity of the anointing of the Lord that will catapult you, that means drive you out forth by the Spirit of God, and great work shall be done in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Seek ye the way of the Lord with all your heart. Be diligent and fervent in, in prayer. And you shall see these things surely come to pass. I would like to stick around to see more of it. Hallelujah. But we are going to mission fields. And, and there is such a work of God going on around the world. And uh, we cannot let North America miss it. The uh, spirit of deception. And uh, there is uh, lethargy. Indifference has hit the church in America. That's Canada too. But there are the voices that are being raised up. And I said, Lord, if you will let me do it one more time, I'll do it. It was just two years ago, I was awakened and the Lord said, set the trumpet to your mouth. I said, I've done it over the years and you killed me. The Lord said, do it again, son. I will put my word in your mouth and you will speak that which is in my heart and the desire of my heart for my people. The problem is not the world, it's the church. We have to see the church awaken. Rise up, shake thyself. For the thing that the Lord will do among you will be so mighty that the world will see it and many shall be turned unto the Lord. It begins at the house of God. Praise the Lord. We're supposed to do it when I can't help it to get in this place. There's a liberty. Pastor, hallelujah, not every place I feel it. 
Praise God. But let's sing it. Let's sing it. Come on. Jesus is precious. He is so precious. Yes. Hallelujah. Don't you love him? Glory to God.